Hi everyone, picture this, you return home from a couple week vacation, you open a YouTube feed to see what's new out there, and you figure out there are so many new things and new content that you do not know when you can watch it all. You only have 24 hours in a day, but you need at least 30 hours to stay informed with latest news and developments. Sounds familiar? Then I have a solution for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built an AI system that literally watches YouTube videos for me and delivers key insights straight into my inbox. Imagine getting the takeaways from every video, including countless hours of interviews, podcasts, product reviews, and more. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you will not only learn how the system works and how to make one, but also I will show you how you can leverage YouTube content for your business. Let's dive in. So today we're going to start with a template pre-made by Mega.com. It finds YouTube videos in a channel, summarizes it with ChatGPT and emails the results. I will leave a link to this template in the description below so you can access it and try it in within your Mega.com account. We'll make slight modification to the scenario, but the general idea is actually here. So you can see here and here is my scenario. So I've got a YouTube blog, which basically what it does, it scrapes the YouTube content by a certain query. Uh, then what happens next is I set a variable. And the reason I wanted a specific variable because I want to retrieve it later in my scenario, that will be my query basically to explain uh, what I'm actually looking for. Then we got another AP5 actor here and a sleep module between them just to make sure it, it runs an actor and it grabs the data from the AP5 account. And previously, some of you mentioned that those AP5 actors are quite expensive. They are worth their money if they use them at scale, if you want to play with them. So this one will be a good solution because you are paying five bucks for a thousand videos that you need to scrape. And until that, you basically don't pay. So you can play with it for for quite a while actually. So in this example, I would be using YouTube Scraper and basically what it does and what I need here, it scrapes the information from YouTube such as title, URL, date, number of likes, name, number of subscribers, duration, it scrapes the description of the video, but it also scrapes the transcript of the video. So that's the more important because how are we gonna understand the content of the video? The AI is not actually gonna watch the whole video. It will just get the transcript of the whole video and this will give them sort of understanding whether this is good enough context. So once we receive the script or the transcript of the video, so the next actor, what it does, it's actually remove the timestamps from the video because the way you export the transcript from the YouTube video is whenever you watch a video, it will show you the timestamp, timestamps, 0, 0.00, 0 minutes, 0 seconds, and then it goes with like each 5, 7, or 6 seconds, etc., etc. And whenever you export this from a YouTube, channel you would get something like this uh, let me see so you, you get something like 0, 0.0 0, 0 0.05 and this video is actually that i'm showing right now was actually in a different language and this is another cool part because you could be actually consuming content in different languages you don't need specifically to speak english but this will allow kind of a much broader perspective to get from the market if you want to analyze certain things and see what are the trends what people are talking about in different countries this is exactly the way to do this you don't need to be watching this you know you probably won't watch uh, at all but with ai you can consume this content because we'll watch it for you summarize read it understand it and provide you a summary in english so and we want to get rid of these just because they we want our next agent or chat gpt who's going to read the whole thing to read a kind of a clean and not messy text so this guy would actually uh, would actually receive something something like this which is already pretty much uh, pretty good so we can see there is a video transcript this guy already read the description so, so this is the kind of the transcript it received and the output it provided is already in english and it's summarized so here what we have etc 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 so we'll go through these things later then this whole thing aggregates to a text file so that we can pass the whole text file to our chat gpt and the reason i want to do this because i might be scraping like three five 10, 20 videos, uh, different videos, and some of the information, especially if we are talking about the news, it's gonna be repeating itself in different videos. So I wanna avoid reading the same information twice. That's why I will have another agent here who is gonna be reading the whole information and making sure I, it just the unique information is delivered to my Slack channel. So that's the basically the last thing I will be watching this in, in my Slack, uh, reading the news that uh, just happened over the course of last week or, or, or whatever, for example. But you can also use it not just for the sake of different news, but for example, last week, I needed to prepare a presentation on AI on the latest use cases of O1 model. So what I've done here is basically, I went and asked it with a certain query. So open AI O1 use cases, and they will be similar. I would go to YouTube and just type it in the search bar 
and you would get plenty of different responses. You get many responses like this. So if you go and type op OpenAI 01 use cases, oh God, there are so many different things and all of these, we will get some ads for sure, but there are many things and I'm actually interested. I think this model is new, it's quite useful and it's also quite powerful, but damn man, I don't have time to watch all these videos. I, I would wish to watch all these videos, but I just don't have time. So instead what I ask it to do, I ask ChatGPT to do that for me. So here, um, what is important, it just scrapes different videos for me, different languages, by the way. What What is important, I use the notation with a minus sign for 01, because sometimes in some sort of videos, you would get something like 01. This is not exactly what we're looking at. We're looking at 01 model, which is the newest one. That's why I'll, I'm using specifically this one. I'm not interested in category, but what I'm interested in is that the results that I'm gonna search, those are fresh results because this model was just released literally a month ago, September 12th. So I choose where I wanna start this thing and I can select a specific date. So if I select 12th of September, basically that will be the day from which the news will start coming. So before that, there was no such model and any information that appeared before about 01 will be irrelevant in that case. So I definitely don't wanna use anything before September 12th, but I'll probably start with um, September 12th as a starting point. So what happens next is I set my variable. It's that's basically the query that I'm looking at. And the reason I want this separately because I want to use it later on to pass. So this is the really the topic I'm looking at. And you would literally would need to write your query here. And by the way, this whole scenario, the modified scenario from the one that you've seen, the original make.com, that will be a little bit different one. I'll also leave a link to the blueprint of this scenario in the description so you can use that. So in case you use that, make sure you change the variable value and this is basically your query. So next we are gonna use the Epify actor and here you're passing the whole thing and just at the end, we're gonna get a YouTube link to watch. You will need to select the video ID. And again, if you would use the make.com, uh, scenario or blueprint you would literally get this the same otherwise you can go to your actor and find your json just right there so here you will find your json as you can see there are many different things you could be looking at but uh, we're really looking at extracting the information from the videos that we have just gathered from another module and also make sure you put run synchronously here and this is needed so that whenever this actor finishes its run it goes to the next actor it goes to the next actor that's going to retrieve the data set items so slave model is just literally three seconds wait and here we've got different operations so we are scraping the information the title likes location tags description subtitles hashtags formats a lot of things from these videos and then we start working with these videos and first of all what, what we're asking to do is to get rid of the timestamp just also make sure you have the max tokens to be a bit higher just because the information with these timestamps there there'll be a lot of characters so make sure you can fit that limit then the next one um what's uh, gonna do is actually read the information and transform it into understandable text so here for example we can see hey this is your role this is your task we split it like uh, step by step. Then we do the text aggregation and we put literally uh, every single possible content. In my case here, I'm go up to 10 different content pieces, but you can go up to 11, 12 and more. And then we basically retrieve our variable query that we have pre-created here. And this is because the next uh, module will basically review all the uh, all the text that were aggregated from the previous news, because there might be many, many different things and they might be repeating themselves. So I want to make sure that this guy before submitting this uh, output to me actually reads the whole thing and chooses the news that are really important first are novel and also are about the topic and not repeating right so it's just like another quality control uh, block so to say and of course then we do the message and text so 5000 tokens should be totally enough and then we basically receive that message from slack All right so let's actually uh let's actually see how that works in practice and we've got with this we're gonna go with the same query instead of the limit for three we're gonna limit to 10 so we're gonna take 10 videos that will take some time so i'll we'll fast forward when we run it what is important here i'll choose a specific date so the model the o1 model was released on september 12th so we, once again we're going to choose september 12th then i'm going to run it and then we will see in my slack channel what kind of output we got out of this run a few moments later
basically what we can see is the process has finished so let's actually see what happened there we have scraped how many we have scraped 10 different videos and here we can see what videos are for instance use cases OpenAI just dropped new model 01 we've got strawberry has arrived OpenAI 01 so all these videos are actually on purpose I mean those are related to what we are looking for so I think that was pretty good then we set a variable let's skip this one then we run an actor sleep and then we basically get the 10 out of those 10 of the videos we get all the information the title the transcript of the video and also we get the description of the video and a lot more data but we don't need other data here so what happens next is our ChatGPT does uh, remove the timestamps from the video and generate text then it provides these text to another GPT agent that uh, generates the summary of the video um, for each particular video. So what are the main points? So what happens next is we aggregate the whole thing to one long, long, long text string. And as you can see there, this text will be passed to our ChatGPT module uh, in the next block, basically to analyze and figure out out of all news that you actually see there, we need to find 10 that are most relevant to the use cases of O1 model in AI and here we see the results. So it provides 10 different news and provides the links to different videos. So let's actually see that in Slack. So if you go to Slack, here we can see here are the unique and exciting findings regarding O1 use cases on the summary to use YouTube videos. So video game creation. The O1 model can generate codes for simple games like Snake and implement user requested features, showcasing its utility in game development. This is actually pretty cool. I've seen uh, that guy doing a 3D Snake game it was mentioned on X, uh, I guess. So that's that's a real case scenario. Uh, advanced coding skills excels at completing complex coding solutions such as visualization and authentication of purposes. Well, I probably would want a little bit more details here. What exactly? What kind of coding competition they are talking about or coding solution? That's pretty decent responses, I would say. Um, for a video to quickly kind of prepare and see what are the different use cases that you can mention throughout the video, that's probably gonna be good enough. I also see there's some irrelevant things like for example immediate access for users. So when AI01 is live for all chat GPT plus and team users eliminating the wait list. So this is not really the use case and that's what I don't want to see here. So probably to correct this I have to go to this module and provide some of the examples what kind of use cases I'm really expecting and I can take actually the first three like snake game or you know translating corrupted text particularly in Korean so those are some interesting and new use cases I haven't thought about or I haven't seen before and give them uh, give my model my GPT assistant a few examples to actually uh, see what kind of output I'm expecting because I don't really expect it to say okay it's it's open for everyone you don't need to join the waitlist that's not a use case for sure the result is not perfect but it was good enough to actually watch 10 videos probably if I was searching this video myself I would have never found it on the YouTube. What I like about it that it even takes some smaller channels. So we're not only aiming at the bigger ones, we're also looking at the smaller ones, which also sometimes create a very qualitative content. Like my channel, I consider myself to produce a qualitative content, but the channel is very, very small and niched in a sense. So I don't get a lot of views, but I think the content is really useful. And that's why it's really hard to actually find those videos on YouTube. This approach I particularly like because it allows me to actually have it a broader scale and look not only to the most popular thing, but also take into account kind of smaller channels as well. So yeah, that kind of automation, which might be pretty useful, especially if you need to prepare for a speech and you want to analyze a certain topic, or for example, you want to buy something for uh, your business or your office, like let's take you want to buy a new camera or a new headset or a mic and you don't want to want to be going through like tons of videos on YouTube what microphone you should pick you may just give your assistant a prompt to actually take first you know 10 20 videos on YouTube for the microphones for a certain query scrape the whole information give it to ChatGPT summarize to provide you with certain items that you're looking to buy 
based on a certain criteria. If you've got a criteria, that's great, but you can also scrape the videos to define what are important things to consider when buying a certain thing like microphone or keyboard or camera or whatever else. And based on that criteria, the next bot will actually analyze the videos and provide you with certain links to shops because um, some of the creators that would also do affiliate partnerships and they would provide a certain links to the products so you can buy them and that way from youtube you literally can do your research you don't need to go and like and watch those tons of videos what you should consider when buying this or that stuff you can literally let ai do this for you and uh, you would be able to actually save time on kind of more important things i guess so to recap, with this AI powered system, you can consume 10 times more content in a fraction of time. You can get key insights from multiple videos, interviews, demos, and more without even watching them and completely transform the way how you absorb information. Well, it doesn't mean you will not need to watch the YouTube content at all. Let's be honest, some of the videos visual part is more important than the context, so we need to watch them. However, there are tons of videos on YouTube with a talking head like mine but you can pretty much get the insights just by reading a short summary and not watching the whole thing. By any means, I do not say you should not watch my videos or like them, you definitely should. But if you use such system, you would probably do this when you really want to see the visual part of how it's done. If you found this video helpful and want more tips on how AI can simplify our lives, hit that like button below and don't forget to subscribe. I've got more content coming your way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.